Well, everyone, there are so many iPhones that Apple's made throughout their whole entire lifetime, but there was a almost perfect iPhone, I would say, that this particular device in so many different ways was a perfect iPhone, not necessarily of what it brought. And, you know, maybe it was a good iPhone when it first came out and everything. Actually, I thought it was a great iPhone, but I think the alignment of this particular device, meaning what this iPhone was for the price that it was, it was so good. And I really do feel like towards the end of its life cycle, it kind of got better and better. And this iPhone is the iPhone 11. Now, when this iPhone 11 first came out, you know, IPS panel, everything like that, you know, it was a good, it was, I would say it was a great iPhone coming from the iPhone XR, a really great upgrade. But then towards the end of its life cycle, it started becoming like a little bit of a different device. The iPhone 11 ended up becoming a $499 iPhone, which ended up stopping sold, I think, a few years ago. But here's the craziest thing, and this is the most important thing for the most part. With the iPhone 11 at $499, this was such a good price for this particular iPhone. And interestingly enough, this was the last $499 iPhone Apple ever, uh, you know, Apple ever made. And that is what I mean. I don't necessarily mean the iPhone 11 was the perfect iPhone, but that iPhone, you know, at that $499 price tag was a very good price device and I still don't really understand why Apple stopped you know selling that particular iPhone at that particular you know price tag I feel like that was a very good price tag for you know a device like this and I do feel like looking forward Apple should go through and continue to sell an iPhone at this price tag now if the iPhone SE 4 ends up coming around and that does end up come taking this price tag I think that's going to be great but I could I mean I totally see a way where Apple could still sell an iPhone at $499 and still be able to make quite a bit of profit from these particular devices it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me why Apple will go ahead and continue just to kind of, you know, get rid of this iPhone at that price tag. I think it's a very, very weird thing, and I hope Apple doesn't end up continuing to do this in the future. I think the iPhone 11, with it being that last iPhone at that price tag, it kind of showed us Apple's approach for the next couple of generations of softwares, right? And, and hardware. Is Apple going to go ahead and basically continue to kind of just only sell their more expensive devices? Are they not going to go ahead and kind of focus in on some of their older ones? And that's kind of another thing that I was kind of thinking about too. Like there's a big chance where Apple may end up doing that. When I do look at something like the iPhone 11 at that particular price tag, I really do feel like that particular iPhone was a very good priced iPhone. Again, it wasn't the best iPhone of all time and the iPhone 11 itself wasn't perfect, but I think the iPhone because of that price tag necessarily was worth it in my opinion. I do think, like I said before, it's a very, very big thing to keep in mind. So overall, I really do hope Apple ends up selling an iPhone like this in the future. I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happens, but ultimately that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.